we have finally got the package. Yes, we have all 39 of the CMF series minifigures packs in this box. And we're going to be doing an opening today. They're all sealed. So yes, we're going to be opening all 39 of them in today's video. I'm so excited. Let's do it. The cat seems to love the box. So that's a win for now. Oh, you're out of it. <laughs> you just went straight in. Okay, so here we have all 39 of the TMS series minifigures from all the way to series one. I can't believe it. This is going to be such a good video. Oh, let's open these. So here's a look then at all the series minifigures, TMS series minifigures, all lined up with the office set in the back. <laughs> um, yeah, no, oh my goodness. So we've obviously got here, coming here, we have the series one, two, three, four, five. They're all aligned up from series one to 23 here. Uh, yes, no, so they're all aligned up there in order. And we're gonna be going through them first. And then next over, we're gonna be going over to these special series, like the Harry Potter and Ninjago, the Simpsons, the Olympics you got. You've got all them, the Muppets. And we're going to be going through them uh, last. So yes, let's get into this video. I am so excited opening these and just setting them all out. Really got me going. Let's get into it. All right. So first up, we have the Series 1. This is so cool. This cost about £30 on eBay just itself. Uh, so yes, let's open this bad boy and see who we get. So in the first series, we got The Magician who has really nice printing and his face has got like a mustache, which is really cool. Obviously nice torso printing and the white hands for like the gloves. You also got the wand and a hair piece as well. If you wanted to change out the hat, you can add the hair piece, which is really cool. I'm happy I got this one. I really like this minifigure and it's a good addition to the collection. So yeah, on to series two. So the next pack we have is the series two. Let's cut this open and see who we get. Oh, I think it's the traffic cop. So yes, we got the traffic cop. He's got a um, a speeding ticket in his hand, which is a really nice printed speeding ticket. Obviously, you got the handcuffs and uh, the printed torso and the glasses on the eye. You can really tell that it's an older minifigure by the printing on the eye. It's very different to what it would be now, which is really cool and nostalgic. And obviously, he's got his helmet as well. This is a really nice minifigure to have, and I'm I'm glad I got this one. So next up is the Series 3 minifigure pack. Let's open this bad boy up and see who we're going to get. It's the alien! Haha, <laughs> that's cool. So yes, we got the alien and I really like this minifigure. I feel like I see this minifigure everywhere, but I've never had him. And I really love the headpiece of him. His headpiece is probably his most unique feature and it's really, really nicely done. Uh, he's got a nice printed torso and a gun that has a laser coming out of it as well. But I, I really like this for the headpiece. It's a really cool headpiece. And I feel like an iconic minifigure for Lego. Like I see this everywhere. What a, I'm so happy. <laughs> Next up, we have the Series 4 minifigure series. Let's open it up, see which one we get. So we got the Musketeer, and I really, really love, just from d d putting all this together, I really, really love its design. His hat is brilliantly designed, and you can put that little feather piece in, which I've never seen before in a minifigure. He's got a nice torso and some leg print in there, and he has a nice little Musketeer sword. It's a really, really nice minifigure. Like I say, this hat piece is brilliant. I'm so happy I got this. This is a nice minifigure. So next up is the Series 5. Let's get into it. Let's see who we're going to get. Who's that? I don't know who that is. So I think we got the Lumberjack. I think that's what he is, but like because of the axe and everything. Uh, this is... I am really happy with this. The, the torso printing and the arm printing... He's really nice and it looks properly textured. Um, I don't know if you can tell. And he has a nice hat and nice face printed. And this axe is really cool. I've never really seen an axe like this before. This is amazing. <laughs> I feel like Lego are downgrading with their new minifigures. These are brilliant. So next up we have the Series 6. Let's have a look who we get in this. This is so much fun. Who's that, a mechanic? 
think it is. So yes, we got the mechanic. I do really like this one for mainly his face printing is really cool with all like the oil and his toolbox. His toolbox is a really nice little Lego piece and you can pretty uh, you can attach it to actual Lego bricks, which is really cool. His spanner is really nice as well, and his printed uh, torso is really nice. And I like his hairpiece. It's like an Elvis Presley style hairpiece. <laughs> yeah, really happy with this minifigure. So next up is the Series 7. Let's get into it. There's some cool ones in this one. Let's have a look. Oh, it's the Stuntman. So we got the Stuntman. This is a really great minifigure. Look at that printing on the front. It is brilliant. And his helmet as well. He has printing on the top of his helmet. Obviously, you can put the visor down. And a cape. You can really tell it's an old material cape from, from the newer versions. Uh, but also, he has a different... Uh, he has two printed faces as well, so you can have them as well. What a minifig- Yes, this is a great one. I really like this minifigure. Ha <laughs> ha! Happy with that one. So next up we have the Series 8. Let's get into it. I'm really enjoying this video, and if you are, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me, please. It really much appreciated. What is that? Is that another alien? It is! This is such a weird yet wonderful set. I had to, like, look at- the piece of paper and how to build this one. It was so confusing to me at the start. So we have this like dress, uh, leg piece sort of thing with nice printed and nice printed torso. You get this gun and then this weird head piece and the minifigure, uh, an actual like pink minifigure head um, goes right into the top and then you put a brain on the top, which looks really, really cool. And you get two capes sort of thing. So you get the actual cape and then like the collar. So you put them on as well. It's quite a complicated minifigure to put together actually. It took me quite a while, uh, but I'm really, really happy that I got this one because it's definitely a very different minifigure to what I normally see. And wow, I really love it. Next up is the Series 9. Let's get straight into this. Oh, it's the troll sort of thing. I don't know how you call it. So, yes, we got the Series 9 Cyclops. That's the name of it, not a troll. The Cyclops. This is a really, really cool minifigure. You've got your stone club, some nice leg printing and torso printing, and a really nice headpiece. Uh, also with two uh, printing on the back and some printing on the back. I didn't even realize that. Look at the printing on the back. That's great. Uh, two face printings as well, uh, which is really, really awesome uh, to see. <laughs> That's not going on. <laughs> so now we're on to the Series 10 CMF minifigures. Can we get Mr. Gold? If I get Mr. Gold, I'm just going to go crazy, but I don't reckon so. But you know what? Let's get into it. Let's see. Oh, it's the paintballer. Disappointed I didn't get Mr. Gold, <laughs> but you know what? I'm very happy with the paintball. I really like his printing and his leg printing of the paint. And I really like his helmet of the paint. The paintball helmet is really nice. Uh, helmet, yeah, I know. I really like it. And he's got some printing on the back, yeah. And his gun, his gun is a really nice replica of a paintball gun. Yeah, no, I really, really like this minifigure. I'm happy I got this one. So next up we have the Series 11. Let's get into this. This is such a fun little video that I'm making. I'm happy. Here we go. What is that? Is that a toy? Robot. That's it, the robot. So yes, we got this robot and I really like this minifig. It's got so much printing on it. So much detail going on. And the headpiece is a very, very different headpiece. Now on the back, you get a wind up sort of key. Uh, to put on as well, but the headpiece is really different and the printing on the front is really nice. I am so happy I got this um, minifigure. It's a very different minifigure to what you would normally see as a robot nowadays. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy with that. So next up we have the Series 12. Let's get into it. Let's cut this bad boy open. So here we get, who is that there? That's the boy, the Game Boy. <laughs> So yes, we got the gamer. I really like this player. Um, player, his <laughs> minifigures, because I'm reading the player. He has like a player one torso printing. It could, it's a, a bit of a basic printing on the torso, but you know what? It works. Uh, you've got some different uh, layered uh, colors as well. And the printing on the legs is really nice. He has like some keys there and the pants. And he also has his remote control there, his game remote control. No printing on the back, but his headpiece is really nice with the headphones as well. Yeah, it's a pretty basic minifigure, but you know what? We'll take it. So up next is the Series 13. Let's get into it. There's some cool ones in this one. Oh, it's the Cyclops again, but it's the girl Cyclops, I think. It's like 
they knew. It's like they knew that I was going to get a bow cyclops. So we have the woman cyclops. This is crazy. We now have like the male cyclops and the female cyclops. So obviously nice to put it on the front, on the torso and the legs. Uh, it's pretty much the same headpiece, just with the different like lipstick on the front. Uh, yes, some nice back printing as well, and then different, uh, same club mallet sort of thing, you know, stone thing. Uh, you know, she also has um, two uh, printed faces as well. One with like eyeliner on, and one without. Really nice little minifigure, and we got both of them. So they're like a complete set, couple. <laughs> so next we're up to the series 14, and this is like a Halloween themed sort of one, so let's get into this. Some cool minifigures. Halloween is just gone though. And we got the divine monster. Oh, yes, I love this one. So we have got the plant monster. This one, I'm really glad I got this one, mainly for this headpiece. This headpiece is absolutely brilliant. It is so big um, and just, it's a, such a different design of a headpiece and it's really, really great. It has nice printing all around for the vines and like the plants. And you get these two little plants on the side uh, to just add to the effect. But that headpiece is absolutely amazing. And you won't see many things like that anymore. It's brilliant. I'm so happy I got this one. Series 15. Let's get into it. Let's see who we get. Let's see who we get. Who is it? I don't know. It's the cleaner, the janitor. So we got the janitor. And I, I, I really like this little minifigure. He's got some great printing on the front. His nice mustache on the face. A nice little hat, which kind of reminds me of some like Lego Indiana Jones hat for some reason. And this... Great little personalized mop, which you can just take off like that. And it's like a, a an accessory piece sort of thing, which you put onto the top. And he has a mop, which is absolutely amazing. I've never really seen much like that. It's a really weird, different piece that, and it's really great. I'm happy I got that minifigure. So we are now at series 16, let's go. I really like this banana guy. I kind of want him. <laughs> I don't think he's in here though. It's not quite big. Oh, I don't know what that is. I think that's like the, the dog. So we have the dog show winner. This is a really, it's a different minifigure to what you think you would get. Um, obviously you got the nice printing of the first um, award, medal sort of thing, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> and obviously you got the dog treat in there as well. The trophy, the first place trophy and the dog itself. And a nice little hair piece as well. It's a really decent minifigure. Not my favorite out of that one, but you know what, we'll take it. Next up is the Series 17. Ooh, let's see who we get. Oh, it's a rocket ship spaceship, guy. This is cool. Now, I am very happy with this minifigure. Oh, my goodness. This is such a cool minifigure. I've never seen anything like it. Well, I have. It's like a costume, isn't it? It's, like, it's just a rocket ship. The kid is a kid in a rocket ship. How cool is this? This this costume piece sort of thing is really, really nice. Easy to lift on and on. He has some printing like of the spaceship logo from the uh, space uh, series that Lego did. Also, you've got a flag here that you can go put on and then you just slide it back on. Boom, he's in his rocket costume. That is really awesome. I really like that minifigure and I'm very happy that I got it. Oh yes. Next up, we have the Series 18 minifigures. This is like a throwback to all minifigures for their like 40, 40 years. Um, so let's get into this. Let's cut this bad boy open. Oh, it's not cut open properly. Hold on a second. We'll just have to rip it. We'll just have to rip it. Who have we got? Who have we got? The Lego Pigs guy. Oh no, the head's falling. So we have the Lego Brick guy. Um, he's a Lego Brick. His costume is a Lego brick, that's his body. You can't take that off like the body. Uh, you put the headpiece on, which is really just basic headpiece with the nice little hair. You also get this one by one stud, which you can, I, I just put it on there just to look nice. It's like a metal sort of thing, you know? Uh, but yeah, you get that so you can just show that you can, it's, a, it's pretty much a Lego brick just out of a minifigure, which is really cool. And, a, and you get a different colored base plate. Um, it's, very, it's orange, which is really cool as well. Very happy with this. Very nice. So now we are onto the series 19 and we're away from the plastic bags onto these bags, the different ones, sorry. I don't really know whether they were plastic or these are plastic. I don't know, I can't tell. <laughs> but yeah, we're onto the different bags, the bigger bags. Let's see who we get from this. Oh, it's the mummy. If I can get it all out, Jesus. <laughs> Didn't do a good job there. I'm not doing a good job with these past two ones. Here we go. There we go, the mummy. <laughs> 
So yes, people, we got the money, and this is a really cool uh, minifigure piece. Uh, it's got so much printing going on, the different details, and you obviously get the scorpion, and it has like the bug on there as well, and the face printing is really nice, and this little headpiece that you get, and there's a lot of arm printing and side leg printing, which is very different. You never really see that. Obviously, we've got the back printing as well. If you take the headpiece off, we do have another face uh, printing there as well. If you want to switch it up, which is a really cool minifigure. I've not really got a minifigure like this, so yeah, I'm happy to have this. So next up, we have the Series 20. That looks like a Power Ranger there. <laughs> Let's get into this. Hopefully, we can do this better than the past two. There we go. Who do we get? I don't know. Is that another mechanic? So I think we got the Space Mechanic. I think that's what it's called. Uh, I don't really know. Um, but... I really like this minifigure. It's just a, it's, you'd think it'd be a basic minifigure, but it's not. Nice, like, printing. Great um, torso printing. A really nice hat. Some great um, face printing with then, like, goggles on. You get the basic spanner. You get, like, an instruction manual on how to, like, build the rocket. And you get the rocket itself with some NASA printing on it, which I think is really good because it's actually got the NASA logo on it. They must have got licensing for that for this minifigure, which is really, really cool. And a nice little rocket. So it's kind of like the instructions tell you how to build it. I really like this minifigure. Even though it, you seem it'd be basic, like just being a mechanic, but it's not. It's really nice. Right, so next up we have Series 21. Coming on to the newer ones now. Coming on to the newer ones, more recent. But here we go. Let's see who we get. Oh, it's in a package. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Guess we'll find out in a minute. So we got this little girl pilot, and this is, when I looked at it again, when I was building it, I was like, oh my god, there's a plane! I didn't even realise, this is great! You can wear the plane as, like, pants sort of thing, so you put the legs underneath, and then the torso on top, and this has some nice printing on the torso as well. You get a helmet with it, with goggles that lift up and up, up and up, up and down. Uh, some nice back printing, which you can't see, but this plane is awesome! You also get free spare parts for, like, the propeller, which you can put in. You can put a hair piece on and another pair of goggles as well if you lose them. But this is great. I've never seen anything like this. Like, wow, that is awesome. Yeah, I'm happy I got that one. Really happy. So next up, we have the Series 22. This is very recent. I have most of these already, but you know what? Let's see who we get. We got the Ice Skater. So yes, we got the ice skater. This is really cool minifigure, and it's actually one of the ones that I didn't have, so that's kind of lucky. Uh, it's really cool how you put like the ice skates on his feet, which is really cool. You get a trophy as well, and I think like this sort of like light to like project on him, like pretend you're projecting light on him, like he's on the top of the podium and stuff. Uh, really nice torso printing with like glittery sort of high vis style, so it like shines. Like look there. That's really cool. Nice arm printing as well. Same on the back. Yeah, it's really different sort of printing style with the, the shine, which is really cool. And he has a very, very hefty hairdo <laughs> is going on. And nice printing on as well. And he has also some like glitter as well on his face, which is really, really cool. A nice little minifigure, that, isn't it? On to the final one of the series minifigures. Not including them ones at the back. <laughs> The Series 1 to 23. Here we go. This one just came out a couple of weeks ago. I have most of these, again, but I don't have some of them. Like this one, I did not have. The ballerina fairy sort of thing. I don't know. So we got the fairy ballerina sort of thing. Uh, this minifigure is really, really cool. They've done a great job with this. Um, feet printing, which I've never really seen before in a minifigure. That is really cool. You have this nice tutu going around, uh, which is really nice. Great printing on the torso, again, with the glitter. A really nice uh, face piece with the printed, like, sort of, I don't know, paint sort of thing. Nice hair piece, which you can put the crown in, which is really cool. A candy cane. And... These nice wings, which are really nice, actually. Yeah, really nice, solid, structured wings. I really like it. It's a great little minifigure, this is. And it's one that I didn't have. It's likely no. It's likely no. <laughs> so next up, we have the limited edition CMS series minifigure packs, like the movies and all the different ones, which aren't actually a series. They just did them for a one-off. So let's get into it with the Team GB. Let's get in and cut it open and see who we get. Did I cut it open right? Nope. Sort of, almost. Here we go. I don't really know who that is. Is that the karate guy? Karate girl? Let's have a look. 
So here we have the karate girl, the jiu-jitsu girl. I don't know, it's one of the fighting people. Uh, I really like it. It's a really nice printing on the front of the black belt and the GB logo. And you get the medal, which is really cool, the gold medal. Nice face printing, nice hairpiece, and a really nice uh, base plate. A really nicely printed one, yeah, it's really nice. Very different to what I would normally get, but I'm happy I got it. Next up, we have the Simpsons series. This is cool. I like the Simpsons. You gotta love the Simpsons. And we got Homer himself. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yes, we got Homer himself. The best minifigure out of them all, probably, in my opinion. Really nice headpiece. Really replicates his head from the show. There's not much printing going on, but... the doesn't need to be because that's how Homer is. That's how he dresses and it's good printing for like the belly and the collar and stuff. You got the TV remote because he loves like TV. He loves TV and the donut, of course. Really good printing of that donut there. A great minifigure. Very happy with that. Here we are then coming in with the series two of the Simpsons minifigures. Let's see who we're getting out of this one. It's Marge. Hey, it looks like a different Marge, but it's Marge. So we have Marge, so we look like we got the set again. We got the two couples, and it's a very different Marge. She's going out. She looks like she's going out with Homer. Uh, she's got a dress on. No printing on the on the torso, really. Uh, this dress is really hard to get on, and I think I've done it wrong, but I will fix that. Nice flowers, which you can put on, and also her purse. Uh, she has a purse there. Really cool headpiece. It's really big, um, yeah, because of her hair. Really nice, really different, and happy with that. Got the two couples. So next up, we have the Disney series minifigure. This is cool. Series two of the Disney, by the way. Um, yeah. Oh, we got, I forgot his name. I don't know his name. I forgot his name, but he's out of Hercules. Hades, that's his name. Hades from Hercules. This is a really cool minifigure. Some really nice, like, bottom leg piece. Really, like, I really like it. It's really nice. He had some fire effects. His hair piece as well, uh, which is like the blue fire. Really nice face printing. You got some dark blue printing on the legs and a uh, really nice, um, what do you call it? Torso printing? That's it. <laughs> some arm printing as well. Really nice uh, minifigure overall. I really like it. And I like Hades from Hercules. I just couldn't remember his name. <laughs> so next up, we have the series two of the Harry Potter series. Let's see who we get out of this. Oh, it's fallen. And I think it might be Harry Potter. I don't know. <laughs> it is Harry Potter. <laughs> it is. It definitely is. <laughs> His head went flying then. So, yes, we got Harry Potter himself. And I really like Harry Potter minifigures. I'm glad I got this one. His torso printing with, like, the hoodie's really nice. Obviously, got the same normal printing. You've got his wand. And you also get this book in a... Uh, here, which you can make, it's really cool, and you put that inside, it's like a book, is it? It's really cool. I'm happy I got this minifigure, even though he went flying just then. Yes, very good. Next up, we have the Lego Ninjago movie CMF. Let's open this. Ooh, I think this is that rock guy. We got the Gong Rocker. He's really cool. I really like this minifigure. I really like his facial expressions on this. Like, he's proper rocking out. His hair piece is really cool, really big. Uh, yeah, his hair piece is really nice. Very nice torso printing. Very nice leg printing. Got some tattoos on the side, which is really nice. And a very nice guitar as well. Very happy with this minifigure. I really like it. Next up, we have the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. I really like Fantastic Beasts, um, as well as Harry Potter, but I do really like Fantastic Beasts as well. So let's see who we get. Oh, I don't know who that is. I'll have to come back with you that. We got the Tina Goldstein minifigure from the Fantastic Beasts. And I really like this minifigure. Her headpiece is really nice with the hat and the hair. And her, her printing uh, with the jacket looks like it's open all the way down into her legs as well, which is really cool. Really nice printing. Nice printing on the back as well for to make the detail of the jacket. She gets her own wand and a hot dog. I don't really get a hot dog. Maybe she likes hot dog in the movie. I can't remember. Uh, I haven't watched the film in ages. But I'm very happy with that minifigure. Thumbs up. So now on to the Looney Tunes minifigures. This is cool. I wear... <laughs> I have never got one of these, so yes, this will be really cool. Who do we get? Oh, we got the girl pig. 
So we got Petunia Pig. Um, I really like this minifigure. Again, the tutus that we had on the other minifigures are really nice. Really nice little skirt tutu. I don't know why I call it a tutu this time. It's a skirt. Uh, not much printing going on. The headpiece is really cool, though. How it's like, yeah, they've done a really good job with the headpiece. The headpiece is my favourite bit of this minifigure. Also, some, like, knickers underneath for the leg printing. And she gets a teapot and a, and a cup as well. Very nice. Probably not, not one of my favourites on that. I could have got anyone else but her. Um, and I would have been a lot more happier. But you know what? We'll take it as it's a retired bag. So next up we have one of the more recent ones. The Muppets minifigures. I've got pretty much most of these. Except from Animal and Kermit. Uh, so yes. That is Fonzo. We got Fonzo everybody. Happy days. So yes we got Fonzo Fuzzy Bear. I really like Fonzo. His headpiece is great. Really brings out his fur, and also the printing on there brings out his fur as well. You can tell with the printing, it's all around his body, except from the side there. They could have done that, um, but yeah, no, the printing on the back's really nice. With his, like, I don't know what you call it, like a, a scarf? It's not even a scarf, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, his headpiece is the main bit, bit for me. It's really nice. They gave him a banana and also a microphone with a stand uh, because he likes doing his comedy routines and stuff, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, so I really like this minifigure. So next up, we have the first Lego Movie uh, minifigure pack. I, I remember I bought one of these, and I think I got President Business. Um, I don't know where he is now. <laughs> I've kind of lost him. This was ages ago. Oh, we got the Panda. Yes, that's an awesome one to get. So yes, we got the Panda. This is a really cool costume minifigure. I just really like it. The printing's nice and basic. On the back, we have the zipper to show that he's like in the costume, which is really cool. And the headpiece is really nice. And I love how he's like sweating underneath it because of how hot they make you. <laughs> That's such a cool little feature. Like, you know, the little things like that make it. And you also get a little panda teddy bear sort of thing accessory, which is really cool. I'm so happy I got this. A really, really good minifigure. So next up, we have the Lego Movie 2. Let's get this cut open and see who we get. Oh, we got Wild Style. Yes, cool. The, the, the different Wild Style, though. <laughs> so yeah, we got the Lego Movie 2 version of Wild Style. Uh, this is a really cool minifigure. I really like it. Printing's great on the front. She has some uh, binoculars there. Her headpiece is really nice. Really nice and detachable like that. The face printing is decent, not the best, but she has some arm printing and some side leg printing, which is really cool. And on the back, she has like this bow and arrow sort of uh, ammo holder sort of thing to hold her arrows, which is a really cool feature. And I really like this minifigure. You never really see much headpieces where it integrates the goggles and like the headscarf and stuff. Really, really cool. I love the back as well with the arrows. And you get a different colored base plate, which is really nice. Next up, we have the Lego DC minifigures. Let's see who, which superhero or supervillain we are going to get. Oh, we get the Cheetah Girl. Yes. Yes, so we got Cheetah. This is a really cool minifigure. The printing is brilliant just everywhere. There's, this is what I mean by the side printing. It really makes it. Um, printing just like the Cheetah leopard print sort of thing. You get the tail accessory, which is a really nice uh, material, actually. A really cool headpiece. There's two printed faces and a money bag as well uh, to obviously show that she's stealing and she's the villain. What a cool little minifigure this is. I'm glad I got this one. Next up, we have the Lego Marvel superhero minifigure set. Let's go. Let's have a look at this. Who are we going to get in this? I don't know who that is, but we'll have a look. So we got the Loki minifigure. Um, I don't really know how to feel about this one. Uh, it's just like a basic... I know it's Loki when he's not him in his green suit sort of thing, but I definitely could have got a better ones in there. But, you know, he gets a nice T accessory. His printing's nice. He has a nice hair piece. And this frog. I don't really get this frog. I don't really know. I might have missed a reference back in the day. But he has a really cool, like, variant thing on the back, which is... <laughs> I like that printing, actually. That's really cool. Very different, and this frog has some like things on the back. It kind of looks like for the frog, so I don't know. I don't know why he has it, but yeah, I like this minifigure. Next up, we have the series one minifigure of the Disney. Let's go, Disney minifigures. Who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? Oh, it's the genie. That's awesome. So we got the genie, and I really like the genie from Aladdin. I think he's one of the best characters in Aladdin. Nice printing, not much going on because you don't need to be. Um, he's got the 
the, the like shackle sort of thing on his arm. He has a really cool headpiece, uh, which probably brings out his ears and stuff. And he has an earring on that side. And you can put this hairpiece in as well. And a nice little, um, you know, like the smoke of the genie coming in at the bottom as well. And he has his lamp there, his magic lamp, which is really cool. Yes, I'm happy I got the genie. Awesome. Next up, we have the Lego Batman movie minifigure series one. Let's see who we get in this. I do like the pencil guy. Oh, we get Robin. Nice. So, yes, we got Robin. And I really like this minifigure. It's a nice basic, like, boy type minifigure. He's got the jeans on and his jumper, which is very nicely printed. I like his hair piece where it, like, connects the goggles. So, you can have him without his goggles on. And then with his goggles on, uh, and he also has his shark repellent in there as well, which is a nice little addition. So yeah, I really like this minifigure. Some nice back printing of, what is that? Can you see? I don't really know. <laughs> it's got some like birds on or something. Yeah, no, I really like this minifigure. I'm happy with that. So next up we have the German football team minifigure series. This is a very different series and it's really cool. Uh, yeah, let's go, let's have a look. I don't, I don't know who it is, by the way. <laughs> I'll have to look up for you. That's cool. So we have Kadira here. And you know how I know? It says it on the back, which I really, really like. They should do this for, like, most football teams, like, national teams. That would be really cool. Like, an England one. That would be really cool. Uh, Kadira, yeah, it has his printing and his number on there. This is an old uh, German football team. It's not now. Um, they have the nice printed uh, base plate with the stars on. Uh, the... The German football team logo, the Adidas logo as well, and the German football team logo printed on there. And the, the kit looks really nice and what it must have been. Oh, yeah, I really like that. And you also get a football, which is really cool. I don't know where you put it, though, because it, it only has this like little thing at the bottom. But I really like it. And now on to the 40th bag, the last minifigure pack the last cmf that we have to open the lego batman the movie series two and yeah this is the last bag oh my goodness it's been a ride what a video one of my favorites i've ever made <laughs> who do we get is that uh, alfred <laughs> it is i think so yes we got alfred in like a swimming costume i really like this yeah Nice printing of the swimming costume, pretty basic, but he gets a nice glass of cup. He has like this neck thing to make him still look presentable and smart. His headpiece is cool, making him bald, obviously, in the sideburns at the side. Back printing is the same, same with the side. Um, yeah, no, it's a really basic minifigure, but a really nice and funny one. And I'm really happy to end it on that one. So here is a look then at the finished product of all 40 minifigures. All 40 CMF minifigures. I can't believe I even got to be, to be able to do this video. Uh, so yes, if you did enjoy, please smash that like button. I, I Please. This cost me a lot of money to do. <laughs> and if you hit that like button, it'll help me out a lot and be able to make more videos like this and maybe even another 40 minifigure <laughs> opening. This has been crazy. One of my favourite videos ever. Just the nostalgia of some of these Series 1 minifigures. And, oh, it's just been brilliant. I can't believe I got to be, be able to do this. Um, I loved it. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to see more content like this. And I will see you all in the next video. And all 40 of these will see you in the next video as well. <laughs> Bye.